Hi, this is Dave Mass for HomesCountyTicket.com. Welcome to Finish Line, where we ask area coaches and personalities kind of some really deep, in-depth questions <laughs> that really pick their brain. You know, uh, we're here joined here today. Rich Patterson from the West Holmes Knights track teams joins us today. Rich, welcome. Thank you very much. All right, Rich, are you ready to roll with these bad boys? Let's do it. All right, here we go. All right, question number one: What is your favorite track event? Oh, it's got to be the 400 hurdles. It's what I ran in college, and I love watching that race. And that is a gluttonous race, too. That is a hard one. It hurts, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you, could eat with, if you could eat lunch with one famous person, who would it be? One fa dead or alive? Or, uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, Steve Prefontaine. Probably there you my, go. my yeah. favorite runner of all time. The guy had uh, guts that would not quit. And like certainly, a, certainly a huge character in the, in the world of sports, too. Absolutely. So. All right. Uh, why are the Kenyans such great distance runners? Well, it's a matter of... Um, that's their lifestyle. They run to work, they run to school, they run wherever. I mean, if a lion's chasing you, <laughs> that's you can do so. <laughs> it tends to make you run faster and longer. That's, I don't know. That's, that's just kind of how they're anyway. brought up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what's the difference between coaching boys track and girls track? Uh, it's, not as, um, it's not as much of a difference as you would think. Um, a, a lot of times, and I think maybe it's just because our, our girls are so tough. I mean, our guys are tough, but guys are expected to yeah. be tough. And um, um, the, the girls, you know, um, when guys are celebrating, they're high fiving and they're sticking their chest out and stuff. The girls are all hugging and uh, <laughs> and some crying. So that, that's really <laughs> the only difference. But as far as training and everything, they all the girls do the same training the guys do and. Um, uh, you know, we try to treat them a whole lot different. Oh, man. <laughs> Call, calling the girls tough. That's, they got to like that, I'm mm. telling you. All right. Uh, what is the best music to listen to before each event? Well, I'm old school, and I, I go back to the ACDC and the Journey and, you know, Ted Nugent. Stuff don't call like that, that old school because that's me too, and I don't like that. I don't want to be old school. Elvis, that's old school. <laughs> okay, I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. But, but if you go to a track meet now and listen, I, I, don't even, I wouldn't even know what the, the yeah. songs are. Yeah, that's kind of me too. So, yeah. All right, well, it's, it's nice to know that we're in the, from the same yeah, era yes, kind of place. You exactly. Know. All right, uh, how, how nervous are you? about the Lady Knights in the Final Four basketball tournament coming up here? <laughs> Not quite as bad as my wife. But, <laughs> but, I wonder um, why. Yeah. But um, uh, I'm more excited than nervous, I yeah. guess. You know, um, when we get to the state and regional track meet, then I'll be nervous. But right, right now I'm excited because I'm not the one on the floor. Making Spoken the like a true coach. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's the best running shoe out there today? I've always liked the Nike Prees. Um, they've always fit, but they fit my, I've got kind of a narrow foot and they fit my, foot very well. Uh, if, you, if you ask 100 people, you'll get 100 different answers there. Really, if you, go to a good good running store and have them fit you for what you need. Okay, this is, this is question number 11 coming in at number 8. Mm -hmm. Could you still run some of the events that you ran when you were running? I've got a bet with Carly Woodruff that I can beat her in 100 hurdles by the end of the summer. Ooh. I, had to put I would that pay on. money to see that. <laughs> well, a lot of people are. <laughs> I'm thinking about a fundraiser. I do. I'm <laughs> putting my money on Carly, by the way. I'm so going to call my bookie else. here in a moment. <laughs> so is everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you want to live? Oh, um, probably Hilton Head, North Carolina. Not a bad pick. I like that place, yeah. Get out yeah. of the cold weather? Mm -hmm. Not a cold exactly. weather guy? No. <laughs> All right. Um, here's a great question. Do you like to dance? <laughs> Depends on what kind of music you're playing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> if you're playing the old, uh, or, well, not, yeah. not so old school like we talked about, uh, sure, my family doesn't like me to dance, but I kind of like it. Yeah. <laughs> you, get that, you get that Elaine Bennis dance from oh, yeah, Seinfeld you know, working? My rhythm's gone. <laughs> All right, last question. What's the best advice that you can give kids who, wanna, who are thinking about coming out and participating in track now? Track's uh, one of those unique sports that uh, whatever you put into it, you get out of it. If you don't try hard, you're probably not going to do well. But um, uh, and it's, it's a sport you have to be in shape for to do. Um, so the uh, harder you work, the better you'll be. And we've got kids that have started out. I could go through a million stories. My two best hurdlers on the guy's side, neither one lettered their freshman year. Decided that would never happen again, came back, and um, we're both all Ohioans. You know? And I've, I've got 100 stories like that of yeah. kids that... Uh, put more into it and got more out of it. Right. So it's, it's all about the effort then. Exactly. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it. Finish Line Questions with Coach Rich Patterson. Rich, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Until we meet again, for Finish Line, homescountyticket.com, I'm Dave Mast.